We're in the chat room today with Vegas legend Wayne Newton. Enjoy this throwback interview from the Dan Levitard Show with Stu Gatz. If you were to take us on a tour of Wayne Newton's house, can you do that on the radio? Can you just sort of take us wow. on a tour of your house in Las Vegas? Like, what's the coolest stuff if you had to impress somebody? Uh, a quick little tour would be through uh, some antique uh, wrought iron gates. And then there are 65 purebred Arabian horses that you'll see and go by. There's a car collection of Rolls Royces, a Bentley's, uh, a three or four one-of-a-kind cars in the world. Uh, the home's 14,000 square feet. Uh, we have all kinds of birds, monkeys, uh, penguins, uh uh, it really is quite a place, and none like it around. So you come in, and why do you have so many animals? Why are there penguins in Las Vegas? Like, what's happening there? Well, I love animals, and always have my entire life. My two love the penchants and horse were horses and and music, and I couldn't decide uh, which I loved more. I can tell you which afforded the other, though. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's right. That's right. There are only three species that are Arctic penguins. All the others come from South Africa, uh, the low drop in those islands, Chile, and cannot take cold weather. And I swim with them, and uh, and then the few times we've had snow or inclement weather in Las Vegas, which is very rare, as you can imagine, uh, we actually go and take them inside. Somewhere there is the visual of Wayne Newton swimming on his property with penguins? There it is, yes. <laughs> You confronted Johnny Carson, right? Johnny Carson was making fun of you uh, on, on air, and you actually went right up to him and confronted him, correct? I did. I did. I let it go on about maybe two years, and and I went through his agents, and I went through his uh, uh, production manager, and I went through uh, you know his uh, show manager and everybody else that know him, and uh, to say, hey, stop the crap because it's not funny and it's not real, and I'm 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 not standing still for it. And he kept it up, and I went to LA to record a religious album, if you can believe that one. And as I'm doing the album and doing the tracks, uh, the drummer says to me, "I was surprised to see you here today." And I said, "Why?" He said, "Oh, you obviously didn't see the Carson show last night, did you?" And I said, "No, why?" He said, "Well, it was pretty brutal, and he filled me in on the details." And I told the uh, man who was producing the, the album, I said, go ahead and do the tracks. I'll be back in a minute. And I left the studio and jumped in my car. I was recording at Capitol and went right over the hill to, uh, to Burbank. And I walked in uh, Carson's office. And uh, he was sitting there and with his uh, producer. And so I said to Freddie DeCord about his producer, I said, would you excuse us, please? Woo. And uh, he got up and walked out, <laughs> and I then explained to Carson why the uh, why the lack of humor, if you want to call it that, is going to stop. It's going to stop now, or I was going to clean the building with him. <laughs> and, uh, Wait, <laughs> yeah. He sat down in the corner, sat down in the corner, and he said, well, "I didn't write that stuff." I said, "That's even worse than." Because that means that you're nothing more than a than a monkey repeating something that somebody else is right now. I want to tell you, it stops here and it stops now. Because the next time I'll cut your tongue out. <laughs> Wayne Newton. Wayne bleeping Newton, mother <laughs> yeah. bleeper. Oh, and the joke stopped right there. You should have written in on one of those Arabian horses. That's the only way that story would have been any better. Did the joke stop right then? The joke stopped right then. I mean, the man, I said to him, never say my name again. And to my knowledge, he never did. Woo, that's a mafia stuff, yeah. Wayne. I don't get angry very often. And when I, when I do, it's the thing that people only want to see once. You know? <laughs> and uh, I'm a third degree black belt and, and, uh, and in martial arts, very heavy and have been for a long time. I didn't know that about and, Wayne Newton either. Yeah. A black belt. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Yeah. Wayne, this was delightful. Thank you for making the time for us. We really enjoyed that. It was my pleasure, guys. And I look forward to meeting you in person and, and send uh, a hello and having a drink together. Okay.